right, Coach Craney, what can you say just generally about how today's game went? Uh, there were a lot of bright spots. Uh, I'm definitely happy with um, the way the defense played for a large portion of the game. Uh, you know, we went up against arguably the best running back in the country, and uh, I think we we held our own. Um, you know, we we didn't want to let Dylan Campbell beat us, and he and I don't think he did beat us. Uh, that being said, though, there were times we needed stops that uh, that we that we just bent a little bit too much, and also too many penalties. We had uh, two drives that I remember specifically that drives continued off bad penalties on the defense and, and you know that's that's discipline issues and we need to uh, we need to correct that uh, offensively I think we just started a little too slow once it got rolling they were great we had some real big plays from our freshmen from senior players um, you know Jamari played really well in the second half. Uh, Eric Kimmerly came in, played outstanding, uh, both having touchdown runs. Uh, the little snapshot we had of Brett Hunchak was was fantastic. I think he was three for three with a touchdown pass. So uh, that's not bad for your first go at the, at the CIS. So we're uh, we're excited for what the future has to bring there. What can you say about how Nathaniel Pinto played today in his first game? Oh, he, he you know to steal a great line. Uh, he is who we thought he was. He is, uh, he, is, he is someone that can tear a game wide open. Um, he's got unbelievable hands, very athletic, and, and just a great aptitude, offensive aptitude for the game. And uh, if you can talk a little bit about your special teams, uh, which I think were vastly improved today compared to where you were last year. Yeah, special teams was really good. You know what, our, our cover teams were great. Um, you know, we, we, we punted the ball at times really well. Um, you know, I, I'm happy with where we are team-wise. Uh, you know, I think we need to uh, uh, we need to be a little smarter with some of our returns. But other than that, I thought our special teams was worked really well. And what do you think the most important thing for the young team to learn from this is moving it on to the rest of the season? Uh, one of the things I tried to to get them to focus on is is not to be upset but be pissed off like it, it's better to be pissed off than upset um, and sad you know I really don't want them being sad and sulking I want them want them to be, have a little bit of edge uh, I can I can definitely say our younger players uh, I spoke to most of them after the game and they're like don't worry coach we got this we got this so you know I, I believe them. I believe we have a talented team uh, we knew it wasn't going to happen overnight we wanted it to we were hoping it would, but we knew it wasn't going to happen overnight. And you know what? A lot of credit to Laurier. You know, they're they're still a good football team. I know they had some injuries, but uh, but they're a really good, well-coached football team. And uh, how do you prepare for such a strong team in Western that you have next week? Um, you know what? I, I it's it's just trying to game plan, take a look at the tape, and 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 find out what they really do well and defensively focus on trying to contain that. Obviously, you're never going to throw out the word stop. We want to contain it. Uh, I, I think we have the athletes to accomplish that. Uh, you know, we need to, assignment-wise, we need to be better than we were today. And, uh, you know, we just need to give a full four quarters. I think we gave about three quarters of effort today on defense. Offensively, um, we need to protect the football. And, uh, you know, we, we need to continue to get first downs. You know, we're, we're a good football team when those sticks are moving. And uh, I'm confident with the talent we have that, that that's going to happen next week.